Hey, thanks for joining me today. It is Friday, January 22nd. It is a fact check Friday, and I've got a doozy for us today. I think you're really going to like it. I am going to fact check a meme, and not just any meme, a maybe a hateful meme, okay? Perhaps. Uh, but first, uh, flame on. Yesterday, I appreciate it. I asked everyone for 100 likes on my video. And as of this recording, we're at 84. That is a solid B. I'll take it. But the goal again for today is 100 likes. Let's see if we can do that. Share, comment. Uh, share it with someone that may need it, like a crazy uncle or something like that. Uh, and a reminder, I do have an email list. Uh, many of you have already signed up for that, and I appreciate that. But be sure to keep in touch by signing up for the email list, which is in the description. Now, let's get <laughs> to this meme that we're going to fact check. Uh, it's a doozy. Now, this is something that I saw originally on an anonymous uh, picture message board, if you will, a, a graphic message board. Uh, this is a message board that is probably deemed dangerous and hateful and all kinds of terrible things, but it is a good source of information and to get an alternative point of view. I'm not encouraging anyone to frequent the board, but uh, I do just to get a couple different <laughs> views on things. And I saw this meme come about. Uh, I'm going to blur out who originally sent it, but uh, this is what we're going to fact check today. This is a tweet, and it said, all 10 of Biden's high-profile appointees are Jewish. That's right, every single one. Okay, and uh, wow, that's, uh, that's shocking, right? <laughs> uh, this is the fact check. We're going to fact check. Are all important cabinet positions of the Joe Biden administration Jewish? Now, uh, this is a crazy claim, but I'm going to tell you and give you examples on how you, you can be a fact checker as well and uh, how to go about this. Now, what I like to do when I see someone making an outrageous claim, if you just dismiss it, oh, that's nonsense, you're never going to change anyone's mind, Right? That is not persuasive just to go, nope, not true. That doesn't work. And so, in my opinion, the best thing to do is take on the claim seriously and then debunk it. Okay, so in this meme, I see two claims. Uh, one claim is that are all these people listed? Are these the important positions in Joe Biden's cabinet? Because that's the claim. All the important positions, well, are these the important positions? And the second claim that I see there is all of these important position leaders are all Jewish. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We are going to hold this meme maker accountable for their claim. That's the important thing to do. It is not important to... Uh, believe what they're saying. But when someone makes a claim, hold them to that standard. If someone says all, and it's not all, you can point out how they're wrong. Okay? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about these two claims, and we're going to run through it and see what we can find out. Now, in the original meme... Uh, they listed 10 people in Biden's cabinet, and they put a little Israeli flag to let you know that they're Jewish, right, next to them. And we need to first figure out, are, all the, are these the important positions in a cabinet? We've got uh, Secretary of Treasury, Attorney General, Homeland Security, Director of National Intelligence, White House Chief of Staff. Those all, all seem to be important positions, right? Yeah. Uh, Secretary of State. Deputy Secretary of State, well, hang on a second. Deputy Secretary of State, that's, that's a deputy, right? When we're doing this, we can't go through every lower level position. But if you're not at the top of your department, 
to me, you're not in a top position, right? The vice president is not the top. The president is the top. The deputy secretary of state is not the top. The secretary of state is the top position. So right away in this meme, I see they've listed someone that I don't consider to be one of the top positions. We've got secretary of state for political affairs. I've never even heard of that position. So how can that be a high profile pick? Nonsense. And we've got the Office of Science and Technology Policy. Okay, he's in the cabinet. And the director of the CIA. That's a, a top pick. But are those the only top positions in Biden's cabinet? Uh, no, they're not. In fact, what I decided to do is just go through his cabinet. What I did is I went to Wikipedia. I, I grabbed the list of all the positions in his cabinet, all the secretaries, and that looked pretty good. And I threw in at the end, I threw in director of the CIA and the Surgeon General, because those also seem to be top positions. We can quibble about exactly what are top positions and what aren't, but I think that I've done a fair job of, of choosing who that is, okay? And it looks like we've got 25 positions here. And so I'm going to just rattle through the list and let you know who they are and what their religion is. Now, just let you know, I don't care what someone's religion is. I, I care what they actually do, okay? I don't play this identity thing that seems to be prevalent on the left right now. But that's the thing. Like the meme maker, we also need to hold people accountable to their standards, okay? So let's just go through the list and let's see what we have. We've got the Secretary of State, that's uh, Antony Blinken. He is Jewish. The Secretary of Treasury is Janet Yellen. She is also Jewish. Secretary of Defense, Lloyd Austin, is Catholic. And immediately when I saw the, the meme, I was like, well, what about the, the black Secretary of Defense? I don't think he's Jewish. Secretary of Defense, that's an important position. So right then... We know that this meme is not true. If you're claiming every single one, then it better be every single one. Secretary of Defense, that's a pretty high profile position. So we know the meme is false, but we're just going to uh, cruise through the entire thing and uh, demolish it. Okay. Attorney General Merrick Garland, he is Jewish. Secretary of the Interior Deb Holland is Catholic. Secretary of Agriculture. Culture, Tom Vilsack is Catholic. Secretary of Commerce, Gina Raimondo is Catholic. Secretary of Labor, Marty Walsh is Catholic. Secretary of Homeland, uh, Secretary of Health and Human Services, Xavier Becerra is Catholic. I see a trend. <laughs> Secretary of HUD, that's uh, Housing and Urban Development, is Marcia Fudge. See, she is Baptist, which is a Protestant. Secretary of Transportation is Little Pete. Little Mayor Pete, Pete Buttigieg. He is Protestant. Secretary of Energy is Jennifer Granholm. She's Catholic. Secretary of Education is Miguel Cardona. I was unable to find out officially what he says his religion is, so it's unknown. Uh, he is from Puerto Rico. I could make a guess, but... I was not able to find that information. So we'll just put him in the unknown category. Secretary of Veteran Affairs, Dennis McDonough is Catholic. Secretary of Homeland Security, Alejandro Mayorkas is Jewish. White House Chief of Staff is Ron Klain, he is Jewish. Administrator of the EPA, that's the Environmental Protection Agency, is Michael S. Regan. He also is unknown for his religion. I did some searches. I was not able to find anything about him. Uh, he is an African-American gentleman. We could make a guess, but perhaps he has uh, no religion at all. We just don't know. So I put him in the unknown category. Director of OMB, that's the Office of Management and Budget, is Neera Tandon. Ugh, ugh. Uh, she's Hindu. I made the face not because she was Hindu, but because it's Neera Tandon. 
Yeah. Uh, Director of National Intelligence is Avril Haines. She is Jewish. United States Trade Representative is Catherine Tai. Her religion is unknown. Her parents were Chinese. So we could make a guess that maybe she's an atheist, but we don't know. I couldn't find out that information. United States Ambassador to the UN is Linda Thomas-Greenfield. It is unknown, but I did find out that she does attend a Sunday church service, so I would think that she would be Protestant, but I couldn't verify that. The chair of the Council of Economic Advisors is Cecilia Rous, or Raus. She is also unknown. Administrator of the SBA, that's the Small Business Administration, is Isabel Guzman. Also unknown, her background is Jewish, German, Chinese, and Mexican. So, I don't know, roll the dice. We, we're not sure what her religion is. The director of the office of STP, that's Science and Technology Policy, is Eric Lander. He is Jewish. The Surgeon General, uh, Vivek Murthy, is Hindu. And the director of the Central Intelligence Agency is David S. Cohen, and he is Jewish. Right off the bat, when we go back to the meme and we see the claim that all of the positions are Jewish, that's not true. That's not true at all. In fact, on the meme, we saw people that I would not consider to be high-level positions in it. So this is a very misleading meme. And right then, if someone shared this with you, you can then question them on it. How come you sent me a meme that's full of lies? How come you sent me a meme that claims one thing and it's not true? That would be a fair thing and it would get someone to think about it. And they might think, oh, you know what? Maybe, maybe my source of news is not accurate. Right? Perhaps. Perhaps. But just dismissing it outright is not persuasive. You really need to acknowledge what their claim is and then debunk it, okay? Now, one thing that I think would have been a better way to talk about Biden's cabinet, because the left really seems to be obsessed, right, with identity and with representation and equity and equality and all of these things, and they, they talk about it all the time on how important it is. Let's look at the United States uh, breakdown of religion. And we see that Protestants make up 43% of America. Catholics make up 20%. Uh, Judaism makes up 2%. Hinduism makes up 1%. Now, 26% of Americans are unaffiliated. Perhaps they're atheist, agnostic, spiritual, whatever. But they do not affiliate with any religion. And when we compare the religion of Americans as a whole to the religion of Biden's cabinet, it's quite shockingly wrong. It's, it is, it, uh, his cabinet does not represent America as far as religion is concerned. It's about a third of his cabinet is Catholic and about a third of his cabinet is Jewish. And whereas uh, Catholics make up 20% of America, they make up uh, 32% of his cabinet. And whereas uh, Jewish people make up 2% of America, and they make up 32% of his cabinet, you can see that some groups are really over overrepresented and some groups are very underrepresented. And since the left, since the Joe Biden administration really is pushing this identity and we need to make everything look like America, we need to hold them to their own standard. Not only should we hold this meme maker to the standard that they set, which is they said that all of these people were of a certain religion, which was not true. We also need to hold Joe Biden accountable to talking about making things look like America, and his cabinet certainly does not look like America as far as uh, religion is concerned. And 
here's a really interesting thing to think about. You know, when we think about traditionally American uh, white supremacy, patriarchy, you know, all that kind of stuff, you think of one group, right? You think of the straight white male, but not just a any old straight white male. They're the white Anglo-Saxon Protestant male, right? That's what we think of when we think of uh, all these terms, these slurs, these uh, um, patriarchy and white supremacy and, and those types of things. That's what we're talking about, the white Anglo-Saxon, the straight white Anglo-Saxon Protestant male. And in Joe Biden's cabinet, in all of his top people, there's not a single one. Not one. In these 25 that I listed that I think would be the top uh, positions that he has, not a single one. Is Joe Biden looking to represent America or only certain parts of America? Now, to me, I don't think we should care what any of these people, what their religion is, what their background is, I don't care. There's many other reasons to not care for them. Uh, for example, the Secretary of Defense, he's coming off the board of Raytheon, a weapons manufacturer. So I really don't care that he's Catholic. It makes no difference to me. I care that he's coming off the board of a weapons company, and now he's in charge of, I don't know, deciding things on weapons. You know, do you think that perhaps our government is going to be buying some more weapons real soon from Raytheon? I, I would think so. To me, that's the important part. And also, I don't care, uh, again, what anyone's religion is on this. I want to know, are they qualified? So, for example, the Secretary of Education, or at least who has been uh, suggested for that, uh, Miguel Cardona, you may not know about him because two years ago he was assistant superintendent to a school district with 8,000 students. Now, the last Secretary of Education, uh, Betsy DeVos, yeah, not a fan, and definitely you should be able to find someone more qualified than her, but to find a guy that two years ago was assistant superintendent to a tiny school district? I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, he's Puerto Rican, and so I guess that's more important to uh, the Joe Biden team. But to conclude with this nonsense meme, while it is true that uh, Jewish people and Catholics are overrepresented in Joe Biden's campaign, it is not true that Jewish people make up all the important positions. That's nonsense. Now, I'd like to know what you think about this. Let's go for 100 likes today. Hit that like button, share it. Have an awesome weekend. Peace.